So welcome to part three. This is the final one. It'll be uh, putting the rafters up, plywood on the roof, and the roofing, and the soffit and fascia all the way around. We're not doing the siding, the shiplap. The homeowner's going to do that. Um, so we're going to put up the, uh, bring up the gable end walls. We'll do the, the back one first. You saw us build them in the shop earlier in another video. So I guess we got to flip it. You want to lay it down or? Huh? Okay. I'm going to have to go out and snap a line out there. What we'll do is we'll snap a line. We'll measure back three and a half inches, which is the thickness of the wall. We'll snap a line for that. So we have a line, we'll pull that wall up to the line and then we'll toenail into the bottom plate for like a, sort of like a piano hinge. We'll be attaching the rafters to them also. Yeah. Just tacking the two wall sections together. Uh, up a little. Up a little more. A little more. Yep. Down a bit. Yep. Uh, up just a pinch. Yep. So I don't know if you can see that all the way. There's a blue line, chalk line. We're going to pull this wall section right up to that and then toenail in this way. You try to angle a, the nail so that it comes out right at the uh, chalk line. Then it's like a piano hinge. All right, this is always a big moment because all of a sudden the building gets like 12 feet taller. Uh, we're just going to tip that up and we'll put braces to hold it in place. And go! <laughs> and again, it's on a hinge so it won't fall off. Well, unless it, unless they just push it off. So bring that up level. I'm letting go. That looks good. This is your life on the line, Joseph. Okay. When you level these, you always use the level on the same stud that you're putting the brace on. All right, here goes the, the front wall, hopefully. We have done these where they're all sheathed, sided, the windows in, the rakes on, the trim. We usually get a lot extra, even more help. I'm letting go. Up on your end, just a just a pinch. 
go up. So now you guys can go, you can go down and hand me up those knee walls. We'll do that pretty much next. Pretty much. Then I'll go take it from you. Yep. So if you can go over a couple bays beyond me, I'll hand it to you. So we'll continue this all the way up. I think we can set most of the plywood from from upstairs so we don't even have to get out on the roof. We have a row of plywood on each side now and we've put a uh, roof wrap on that row of plywood. So now we're removing all the bracing it's all stabilized enough so that we should be fine. Just like that. And now we're, we'll put the knee wall up and more roof wrap. So, not really proud of this, but we, when I built the, when we built the knee walls at the shop, we built them identical. The problem is the angled 2x4 on the top uh, was going the same direction as that one, and, but because of the stairs, they have to go a certain way or else they won't line up under the rafters. So we had to pull this one all apart and redo it. All right, so we're about out of plywood. Just have a two foot rip to do up there. We're getting rain and a thunderstorm. We have the long section of rakes up. Now we have to just do the uh, short pieces down on each end and then fascia and drip edge and we're ready for roofing.
It's uh, time to cut in the stairs, or build the build stairs. We've already cut in the stairwell. Uh, it's going over there. It'll come up. There'll be two steps up. I've already cut these out, as you can see. Uh, and then a platform in the corner. And then it'll go from there up the rest of the way. What I did was measure from the floor, concrete floor, to the top of the sheathing floor upstairs. It was 112 inches. So all you do is divide that. Um, what worked out really well was an 8-inch rise, which is nice for this for a garage-type setting. I um, forget what it was. I think a total of 14 steps. Uh, but you deduct one because you're, the last step is on the floor upstairs. You also deduct another one for the platform because that's a step. So you're really only building 12 steps. There's two here. And there'll be 10 on uh, the full run up. So I have my handy little square. These are really handy, these little uh, things. <laughs> I can't think of the name. You just have, once you get started, you just draw the lines, go all the way down through. That way, each one is the same, which is critical when you're doing stairs. If you're off a eighth or a quarter inch, out of habit just walking down or upstairs you'll trip you don't want that um, another little thing we, we're going with an eight inch rise the first step you have to allow for the tread which is going to be a two by two by ten so that's an inch and a half thick so subtract two inches off the bottom you can see this one's shorter than this one but when you add that tread that brings you up progressively the same each time. And then you allow for that in the platform. And then you turn the corner and go up the rest of the way. So I'm going to mark these and cut them out. So stair stringers are all cut. We have the, the long ones. We have the two short ones that will go up to the platform. I've cut all the piece, pieces ahead. I only use uh, two by four straight little stringers joists in here. Um, it's not necessary to run a two by six. The wood's a little twisted so we can work that. Having nailed my fingers before, I always stay six inches away from what I'm nailing. Okay, so we know that we're doing an eight inch rise. So it's one, two, this will be the third step. So the top of the platform wants to be 24 inches off the floor. We also have to allow for the, sh the uh, subfloor or sheathing, uh, which is five eighths thick. So we'll go up 24, come down 5 eighths, and that'll be the height for the platform. So we know the floor is level. Therefore, if we've measured up exactly 23 and 3 eighths all the way around, the platform will be level. I am going to go get my level to verify it. So we do have to make sure this one is, is uh, level here before we measure for this upright. I nailed this one on, have it all plumbed. Sorry, I didn't show you that. So I have this, I mounted this one, fits in there. Again, we'll check it for plumb or level before we nail it. That is right on. Okay, this is done. I'll put on the two stringers here and fit the platform. Then we'll work on the upper part. If they're cupped at all, one way or the other, I always put the cup up. This one's pretty good. Now I'll cut the plywood for the platform. 
I like to put the factory edge of the plywood here. Just looks nicer. All right, so we've got, we put in the last eye joist. We headered it off, so that's all secured. Now we're going to put the, the uh, stringers up. I put a measurement up, we're going with an eight inch rise. So we had to add an inch and a half to the top of the stringer uh, because we don't have the stair tread on. So let's see how this goes. Should, I've already tried it so I know it fits. <laughs> Unless the wood shrunk. All right, so we made a slight adjustment. It should fit now. And we are done for the day. We're actually um, waiting on doors, overhead doors, and windows. The overhead doors have been way back ordered. They should be in, uh, they said, promised in two more weeks. We just got the windows, um, so we'll put those in another day, when, maybe when we come back and do the doors. Um, they're going to do the all the shiplap siding themselves. What great people. They've been so kind and friendly. It's a beautiful spot. It's just kind of like I hate to leave, but I guess we have to move on to something else. I'd say let's go in and take a tour, but, man, you can see it. <laughs> but we will. We'll go in and see. Uh, let's take a look around. Nine-foot wide doors, seven-foot high. The building's 24 by 24. There's the stairs you can see we put in. The eye joists are their NI80 14 inch. The 80 means the, the thickness of the, of the web on top and bottom, or not a web, top and bottom cord. I'm not sure what the official name is. Um, yeah, it was uh, went well. Let's go upstairs. Don't usually get to see out whoa, see outside. So the, the, the footprint of the building is 24 by 24. Upstairs, the knee walls come in four feet on each side. So you have 16 feet clear, uh, a little bit less uh, stand-up room. Um, every foot you come in, this rises a foot. So you're back a couple of feet. Um, the collar ties are eight feet up off the floor. Yeah. I'll turn it around so you can see this away. They have a real nice view out there. The stairs, uh, we put a handrail for safety. Um, that's pretty pretty much it. If, if you like, the, like this video, uh, Chad says watch it again. <laughs> but please subscribe and uh, hit that like button. Thank you. This is a, just a view out back. You can see where we let in the corner bracing all around. We did extra bracing on the front because you couldn't get a full nice brace like on the back or on the sides. So we did some extra crisscross, kind of pretty. 